Hello everyone, this is Daryl20 and welcome to episode 10 of Daryl20's Let's Play series. Today I want to play a little bit more with Hexary. Check this out, I started playing around with entities. Check out this book, you can like right click and drag to like rotate. That is so cool. Uh, I want to check out crows today, if I can. Uh, crows look neat. They they look like uh, basically little entities that can fly around and do stuff for you. They can pick up items, they can farm, they can do a couple little tasks. So I want to try them out just to see what they're like. Um, there's, you can, you can have, I think as many crows as you want. Uh, and, and there's a crow flute that will help you control them. Uh, or you can just control them directly from, they have like an interface if you right click on them. If you want to tame them, you need to make a seed mixture, however. So that's what we're going to work on today. Seed mixtures are wheat, pumpkin, melon, beetroot, and sage. So what do we got in here? Wheat, sage, beetroot. What else was it? Was it pumpkin and melon? No, just melon. Yes, pumpkin and melon. Sage, beetroot, wheat. Sage, beetroot, wheat, pumpkin, and melon. Okay, so I gotta find pumpkins. Uh, I th we might have melons? Yeah, we have melons, so that's cool. But what about pumpkin? Oh, we do have pumpkins. All right, sweet. I found pumpkins already. That's cool. Should probably start growing some more of these. Did I ever grow sage? Did I add that to the list of things to grow out here? I may not have. Uh, oh, I did. No, I totally did. Sweet. All right, so what I'm going to do is this. Let's get some of this, some of that. All right, we'll get rid of this line, and this will be one, two, three, four, five melons and four pumpkins. How's that sound? So they'll start growing, and they should kick off to the side, right? That should be cool. Excellent. So we have all the seeds we need, which is cool, which is awesome. Uh, now we need to make the mortar and pestle. And then we have to find a crow, which I don't know how hard or easy that's going to be. So the mortar and pestle is made, uh, so there needs to be a heat source under it. We need a third of a bucket of lava, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Yoink. Okay. And the mortar and pestle is a uh, nether quartz, two iron, and five stone. Five stone. I might need to get some smelted up here. Let's get half a stack thrown into the smelter. And a little bit of Dyer's Impatient. Hey, look, I'm recording a YouTube video. Do you guys want to see here and watch this craft? I don't think so. Neither do I. All right, so there's your five stone, which I assume can just sit in there for as long as I want them to. And then the quartz, boop. And then two iron, was it? Boop, boop. And then they'll do the thing. That is, I like that crafting mechanic. That is cool. I mean, it's not the first mod to ever have a, you know, drop items into a cauldron and make a craft thing. But it's really neat looking, isn't it? I like that a lot. All right, so now we've got the mortar and pestle. Now, does this go in the world or it does? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, neat. All right, well, I'm going to have to figure out how to use that guy. Maybe I'll flip to the home page here. I assume there's something to it. So let's get those seeds out because I actually need them already. Sage, beetroot, pumpkin, and melon. All right. So let me see if I can figure it out without the book, but I'll be ready to if I need to. One, 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 one. Nope, that is not correct. Do we right click the seeds? Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, look, it crafts automatically. Cool, figured it out. Man, look how cool that is. Oh wow, you only get you only get one seed mixture from that. It's alright. We'll just have to hope that three seed mixtures is enough. And worst case, we just have to wait for more seeds to crop. You know, we'll, we'll take care of it. Should be cool. Now we gotta go find crows. I do not know where to find crows at. I don't know if there's like, if they're biome specific or what. So what I'm gonna do is look around on the map for the little white dots, cause I'm going to assume that the white dots um, are what I'm looking for. Now this is some kind of bird, but they are robins. Hello robins from the naturalist mod. All right, so I'm just gonna do that, right? Cause, um, 
The map will show you entities it knows, but if it doesn't know what they are, they show up as white dots. So I'm going to assume white dots are some kind of modded creature. More robins. Hello, robins. Uh, and then yeah, we'll see if we find some crows. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hopefully I find some. I don't know where they would be, like if there's a specific biome. It would be really neat. Um, I, the book, I don't remember hearing anything along those lines. Oh, they're fireflies. Okay. I don't remember the book saying anything specific about, oh, you can find them in X or Y biome. So, back in a sec. So it looks like I didn't even have to, you know, take a break uh, or cut the video here because I literally like, turned the corner and found some crows. Uh, so it looks like this crow is very interested in the seed mixture that I have because he's now following me around. What's up, buddy? Uh, so the book said you can either right-click the crow to feed it to them or drop it on the ground, but you have a better chance to tame them if you drop it on the ground. That's what the book said. I didn't read the book to you on camera, but go read the book yourself. Uh, so I think I just do that. Okay, no, that didn't work so well. Uh, I'm going to turn off my magnet for a sec. Wherever it may be. Oh, it's still out here. Okay, never mind. Eat. Oh, 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 hello. That's cool. Hey, you ate it. Good job. Now come back here and eat another one. Be tamed. <gasps> Best friends forever. You know it. Tame an animal. Sweet. Hello, crow. Crow is set to wander. Crow is set to help gather. Crow is set to follow. I think he's playing dead, believe it or not. Oh, cool. Look at this. Hand, hat, misc, gather, follow. Follow. Sit. Crows set to sit will fall down and sit in their position, and if they have a perch, they will fly to it first. Yeah, we have to figure out the perch thing. So shift right click to open up his UI. Uh, wander, help. Crows set to help will do its set help command. The help command is either gather, harvest, or pickpocket, and the set to the right button. Gather, harvest, or pickpocket. That's cool. All right, so uh, yeah, follow me, Crow. Oh, hey, what's up? He's on my shoulder. What's up, dude? How's it going? I like this crow. I like this crow a lot. Uh, so here's what I'm telling uh, you guys. So there's there's three commands you can do. The third one is probably having you wonder, what's pickpocket? Um, apparently, crows can pickpocket from villagers and steal their trades, which sounds pretty cool to me. So effectively, um, my understanding is they'll be able to, like, steal items from villagers. I, I am envisioning in my mind having, like, a little villager area set up where the crows will, like, fly over and steal enchanted books and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe. Could be cool. Um, so there's a cooldown on how frequently they can do it. But uh, still, I can imagine automating that. Would be fun. We'll see. But at first, we got to bring our crow home. Uh, you know me, I love the rain so much. It's the best. I like this ring. It's a good ring. It's a nice ring. All right, let's make the crow flute now. Because I want to check that out. Crow flute. Ooh, summoning flute. Okay. Tap on a specific entity to summon it later. Okay, crow flute, and then this is supplementary's flute. Okay, so it looks like any color. So I'll just go with red, because that's what I happen to have. And then you can shift right click the flute, and then when toggle, you can select crows by right clicking them. If you have more than one selected crow, only the selected crows will listen to that flute. To clear all selected crows, press the clear button. What's up, dude? Perch. Uh, when toggled, you can change the perch location of selected crows. Its perch location is where the crow will go back to rest when doing no tasks. To clear all the selected crow's perch locations, press the clear button. Okay. Cool. And then all the commands that they had on the individual crow. So, like, without selecting crows, right, what I can do is I can say, hey, um, you know, sit. And then he should follow. Oh, look at that. He did. Neat. And then if I set it to follow, oh, that is awesome. And he's like, I'm going to hang out with you, Dyer. Perched on your shoulder. I do like that. That is really neat. I can imagine having a little crow army. Uh, so 
there's definitely some work in progress aspects of it, but they look pretty full featured for what they have going on already. So you can flip through the entities book, um, and then you can jump to Crows if you want. He wants to read the book too. Look at him, he's looking at the book. He's like, what is going on here? So you can read all about it, how to tame them. Like I said, it's in there, uh, all the commands, pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's get a perch going. So where, 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 pray tell, could I have a perch? So if I shift and then sit, he should go sit now. Awesome. And then I can sleep through this night. So let's set up a perch for him. So what can a perch look like? Is there a perch item that I don't know? I don't think so. No, I didn't think so. Supercharged coil is all that comes up. So the perch can really be, I guess that's like any block. Um, so perch, right click a block to set the crow's perch position. So if I did this, for example, Am I missing something? I'm right clicking, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Unless it just doesn't give me the feedback. Cool. And then you can select, right click the crows you wish to select. So if you had multiple crows, you could select them all and then issue a command to them. That's pretty cool. But with, without um, selecting, the, the flute will affect all the crows. Neat. All right. So this is his current commands. Okay. Harvest, pickpocket. So what I would say is, let's try this. You ready? Um, I think for him to, to collect items... He needs to store them on a coffer. Let's see. Gathering, and this will allow your crows to interact with the coffer or herb jar blocks. The crows will interact with nearby coffers or herb jars that have crow gather button toggled on them. So let's make a coffer. So that's going to be three mahogany, five mahogany planks and three gold with water in it. So let's drain out this lava. We'll get some water. And it's three gold, five mahogany. What's up, crow? And then three gold. Sweet. And that will make a coffer. Yeah, the bird. Let's turn off precision mode. Yeah, with 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 the fast with the fast uh, <laughs> speed upgrades on that thing, you've got to be very careful about how you run it. Oh, look at how cool that model is. That is the coolest model ever. Oh my goodness, look what is going on. I got a picture of my dude in the middle here. Talk to me about coffers. Crow gather. Allows crows to gather items matching this block's inventory. Crows will gather items matching this block's inventory and return them here if toggled. Crows will not pick up matching items this block um, and return them here if not toggled. Crows can gather to multiple locations at once. If a crow perch location is this block, that crow will gather any item in the area and return to it. Okay. So let me try setting his perch here. So if I do perch, right click a box to set the crow's perch position. I'm trying, chief. Oh my goodness. So it's one of those like instant pickup dudes, which is cool. Perch, clear perch. Yeah, that part doesn't seem to be working for whatever reason which is a bummer because i feel like the perch is relatively important but what i could do is we could stage it 
right? Out of range. There we go. So if I got like wheat seeds and potatoes. Now I'm going to assume that the crow won't replant the crops that he harvests, but maybe he will. I guess we'll find out. But I want to try this out just to see how it works out. Right, and then we'll we'll do the rest otherwise. So turn off poach mo perch mode, put on follow. Oh, that's cool. He just teleported right to me. I like that. Hello. Perfect chance to try the pickpocket ability. Pickpocket, please, help. One crow set to pickpocket. All right, go pickpocket from him, would you? Yeah, do it. I wonder if he works on wandering traders. I honestly don't know. Oh, pickpocket. Huh? Hey, you, come here and stand still for a sec. My crow wants to talk to you. Uh -huh. So he is on follow. I want him on help mode. Uh -huh. Crow is set to help pickpocket. Yep, so do the thing, crow. Uh -huh. So these are the things that he can trade, apparently. Ooh, enchanted golden apple. Go ahead, do it. Pickpocket him. Come on, you can do it. He's right there. He walked right past you. Pick his pockets. I'm going to give him a minute. I'll come back. Ooh, the perch button requires crows to be selected to work. Things I learned just now. All right, so let's... Select you perch. I'm gonna perch you right here. Look at that, it renders the items inside. That's cool. Go. There he is. You doing the thing? Oh no, he's just hanging with me. Okay, that's cool. You are set to go to help pickpocket mode. Go. Oh no, it's raining. Well, I figured out how to get his perch to work. So maybe the stealing doesn't work from wandering traders? I'm not quite sure. So I'm giving up on that for now. What I'm going to do is go back to the harvesting thing. So, hey, Mr. Crow, follow me, please. All right, now I would like you to help by harvesting. Help. One crow set to harvest. All right, go harvest. Oh, cool. Look, he's doing it. That's awesome. Now if I told him to instead of harvest but gather, because I made this a... Oh. Because I made this his perch, he should harvest everything and just stick it in there. Uh, assuming I hit this button. Oh, cool. Look at him go. Good job, Crow. I like this bird. He's very helpful. Very cool. I think you can only carry one item at a time, though. Or maybe multiples, I can't tell. Five became... Oh, it didn't say. That's neat, though. Okay, so he's got as many as he can carry. Let's see. Five became six. Yeah, one item at a time. Not a big deal. That's cool. I like the crow. Very neat. He needs to come chill inside, though. I'm not going to make him do that much work. Come on, Crow. Let's go. Inside with me. I'm assuming, like, like 
other pet entities they'll teleport to you if uh if they need to okay cool i'm gonna make your perch there so he should go chill on his perch now oh that's cool oh that is super cool i like that what can i say i like having pets they're pretty cool i can imagine having a few crows Run around doing stuff for me. That does sound neat. I need to get more uh, pumpkin seeds. That's what I'm low on. I found melons out in the world because, as you know, there's lots of melons around me. But I need more pumpkin seeds. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna consider making like a little bit of a crow army here, and they'll do some tasks for me around the base. And I think I can give them a snack. Crows love this food. Try feeding crows this to befriend them. Have a snack, buddy. Oh, he went to wander. Uh... If I put him there, will he eat it? I guess he's not hungry right now. All right, go sit on your perch, buddy. Sweet. <laughs> That's cool. I love it. I really do. I think it's cool. All right, uh, let's come back in a second. So I'm pretty sure the only two entities in the game so far are the crow and the broom, uh, which we've we've got them both covered. I'm curious if there's any other items that I want to check out in the mod at the moment. Um, there's a few other things we can get. We can give our crow an Ankh amulet, which looks like a lot of stuff. Glowberries and... Ooh, he needs a Totem of Undying. Yeah, I'm not making that just yet. Um, but what I'll do is protect your crow from danger. While playing dead, the crow will gain regeneration. If the crow were to die instead, the amulet breaks and the crow gains regeneration like a Totem of Undying. That's cool. That's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Um, I also found this broom whistle I want to try. Can I make that real quick? Looks like I need a stone button, but other than that, doable. Okay. Okay. So does that mean I can, like, leave the broom wherever? And then if I were to whistle for it, would it, like, just come right away? Must be bound to a broom. Makes sense. That does make sense that you would need to bind it. I'm assuming something along the lines of shift right click or right click or something like that. Must be bound to a broom. I agree. How do we bind it? Let's find out. So I assume that there's a broom whistle chapter. Wherefore art thou? Dousing rod. Oh, that's cool. Leaves change color based on if the player is facing a swamp. Oh. That's cool. You can search for swamps and jungles. That's very cool. Okay. Uh, neat. Drying rack, candelabra, crystal ball. What does that do? That's what I want to see. Work in progress for uses for infusing and scrying. Okay. Sage burning plate. There's a there's definitely some neat stuff that's coming in this mod too, it looks like. Is there a broom whistle? You know what? It might be in the entities chapter. Let's jump to that. I wouldn't be surprised if the broom whistle notes were in the broom section. Yeah, that would make sense. See anything in here? No, not really. Oh, <laughs> there's a tool tip for it. Place the broom and the whistle on a crafting grid together. That was going to be the next thing I tried anyway. There we go. Cool, now it's bound to my broom. Okay. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. And then I can go flying around. That is super cool. So if I'm like out and about somewhere and I've left my broom home, or if I accidentally fall off it because I keep forgetting that shift is not how you, not how you do things. So there's float mode on and off. I guess float mode on, he'll stay where he's at, which would probably be problematic for anyone who accidentally forgets that's not how brooms go down. 
I'm very used to left shift being go down because creative mode flight. That's that's the so like my muscle memory is constantly hitting left shift, which is not ideal for a broom because that's get off the broom button. So you know, but I'll I'll get used to it. Not bad for an early game mode of flight, right? I like that. The only other thing I would like to see is a way for the broom to have like a home location. Like you could like, what would be cool is if you could stick your broom on like a somewhere, right? And then it would just chill there uh, until you whistle for it. And then you could have your whistle send it back home. That would be neat. That would be cool. I would like that, right? Like a, like a broom, like closet or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Just some place where like the broom calls home. And you could send your broom home or call for it. Oh, this is cool. It looks like you'll eventually be able to combine herbs to make a blend. And then infusing them into the candles that you can make in the mod will give them uh, effects. That's neat. There's some really neat effects. I really like this mod. It is very cool. You can get satchels for your broom. It extends the broom inventory to 27 slots. That's cool. Neat. So I'm going to try capturing uh, the crow here because I want to keep him safe when I'm not using him at the moment, right? So I'm going to make a gobber rod and try the staff of, staff of ensnarement. Captures and stores many mobs. So in theory, I think what I would probably want to do is, is have him following me at the moment. And then what? Can I capture him? Ooh, he may not be capturable. Let's have him sit. I'm going to try... Maybe this only works on mobs? Like mob mobs? What do we think about that as a possibility? Let me try it on these birds over here to figure out if I'm using it wrong. So it's definitely... Oh, hello. Left click to pick him up. Got it. I didn't want to attack my crow, but I'm willing to try it with the, with, with the robins. So left click to pick up entities, right click to place them back in the world. So if I were to set you to wander, help, follow, and then left click him, cool. And that should have my crow in it, nice. And then I can put him back and he's still my buddy. Go sit on your perch. Yeah, he remembers everything, awesome. So if I did this, he would go immediately fly to his perch. Beautiful, that's what I would, that's what I would wanna see, honestly. Um, but you know, you never know. You never know. So uh, let's do let's do that. That's cool. All right. So I'm gonna put away that staff. So now my crow is safely stored in an item in my A2 system. So now I don't have to worry about him, you know, getting hurt or something going wrong. And you know, also when I'm not when I'm not working on Hexari, because I think I've looked at most of the things I'd want to look at. I really like the broom and the crows are cool. Um, it's very neat. But I think we're going to switch over to a different mod now. I might want to get into... I feel like Ars Nouveau would be a really good one because that's a really full-featured magic mod. And and the requests in the YouTube comments were definitely do magic mods. So, as usual, comment on the video, please, and let me know if magic is still the, the path you want me to take. But I think Ars is probably the way I'm going to go. So let's get some initial setup going because having just the beginnings of Ars would probably be cool. Um... So with that, I think what I want is the Worn Notebook, right? That's going to kind of be your uh, intro to ours. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, if I don't have any sugar cane, how good I do. And I know I've got leather from the many llamas who come to visit me. Thank you, llamas, for your leather. Uh, and then I probably also want a novice spell book. Do I have the stuff to make the mages one yet? I just need blaze rods and quartz. I I mean, do we have blaze rods yet? I know we've been to the nether a few times. We probably could. Uh, so we could probably do that. Um, so let's get let's get the novice spell book. So that's going to be one of you. One of you. We can get into Ars Nouveau, and that would be fun. Because there's some good spells to have, especially early game. My problem is, is I always go, like, super deep into tech. And then, uh, you know, by the time you get into, like, the magic mods, you're like, oh, I it's cool, but, you know, I have a technical thing that can do something similar. So kind of, you know, taking advantage of the cool stuff you can do with it early on sounds like a good time to me. So all I got to do is make a couple of these and I can immediately have a tier two book. I like that. 
I like that. Now, a tier three book is a lot more expensive. You need to do a ritual for Mars Nouveau. You need another star. You need a totem of undying. Not at all cheap to get a tier three spell book, but not impossible either. Uh, so ours has a bunch of cool stuff. You can see my magic bar on the bottom left, which looks awesome, by the way. Uh, and, you know, there's a bunch of details in the book here about how to do things. I think there's some new stuff, too, because I noticed different armors. So I'm going to I'm going to want to look at that um, for sure. For sure. So what's cool about this is you can make your own spells. Uh, so let's see. How do we do this? I think C to open up the crafting. Okay, there we go. Um, so there's a whole documentation section here if you want to, you know, flip through on how it works, right? Um, you can do ooh, familiars, huh? That's neat. I'm not sure I'm familiar with familiars. Dynamic lights are turned off. This can cause lag for users with weaker CPUs. Low, uh, okay, cool. I'll leave it on and we'll see what happens. Okay. So uh, basically, we will get multiple types of, of things going on here um, as, we, as we progress through the model. But what I can do is I can add uh, form spells that define how the spell works. So like projectile, for example, and then uh, effect spells. So what the projectile does. So in this case, break blocks or harm entities, right? So if I wanted to, I could just have a simple projectile break spell, and that'll be on spell slot one. And then for two, I'll have a projectile harm. And that'll be in spell slot two. Um, and then I think we can hit V to open up a, a nice little wheel and we can select break or harm. So like if I want to go breaking blocks, all I got to do, pop in here and then boom. Cool. So it shoots a projectile and the projectile, you know, will break the block. And then same for harm, right? I can... I can get a harm spell going. And as we progress through the mod, we'll be able to do much cooler things with this stuff um, and have more mana and all kinds of other good times. Because right now we have a relatively low amount of mana. And my harm spell doesn't do a ton of damage, but I mean, not bad. Really not bad. Not bad at all. So we can absolutely get into some cool magic shenanigans with this. I, Ars Nouveau is very cool magic mod, in my opinion. I really like it. And I want to see what's new uh, in the 119 landscape, because I don't really remember there being familiars in the book. I remember there were some, there's some, there's some mods you can get, but I don't remember familiars in the book, unless I, unless I just never worked with it before. Um, and then uh, I also recognize that there was like, what are these things? Ooh. Yeah, these are new. I don't know what they are. I don't know anything about that. Um, and and these armors look new. Sorcerer's foot pads. Yeah. And Arcanists. So like Sorcerer's gives you extra mana, mana regen, and some moderate armor. Arcanists looks like it's just better armor. Yeah, higher armor. And then Battle Mage is probably like the diamond tier equivalent, right? Because it looks like it has some pretty good armor on it. But all of them give you extra mana and mana regen. That's neat. So there's definitely new things uh, in Ars Nouveau that I'm going to very much be interested in looking at. Uh, for now, though, I think it's probably wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, so for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let's come back next time and get, you know, obviously deeper into Ars Nouveau. For now, take it easy.